Hi everybody, welcome to Whiskey Mystery. I'm Phil. I'm Reba. I was just reading the chat. Where was it? Uh, whiskey and wine trails. Deepa's face on Sunday looked decidedly unimpressed. So I was thinking, what's left on the list that could cause that expression? Yeah. <laughs> Depends on the ABV. Depends on your mood. Well, anyway, welcome everyone to another whiskey mystery. What are we doing? We are blind tasting our way through 300 whiskies, and there's only 50 something left. We've been doing this for three and a half years. We have at least, I don't know, six months to a year to go. And this one was picked last week by, oh, Whiskey with Molly again. That's right. Two in a row. Well, we're going to see what we get for the next 12 minutes. We are going to nose it, taste it, rank it on the shelf, possibly if it's better than Glen Scotia 18. If it was better than Brora 38, it would be at the top. Now, uh, we have been, we had a very good whiskey two weeks ago because we put it top 10, which was Highland Park. And this one is kind of along that direction, isn't it? Let me get the, uh, let's go for the viscometer as well while I'm at it. Find out what the viscosity of this whiskey is going to be. And start. I have to add a second to that. Now, yesterday's glass. Dusty plum jam. Not much in yours. Try that one. I've got more plum of a berries. Yeah, plummy. Nectarine. So plummy suggests we're in the world of oh, take a glass. The darker sherry stuff, right? And you know us, we're not the biggest sherry fans if it's overly saturated sherry. How are the bubbles? No bubbles. No bubbles at all, really. Does that mean it could be more like a 40%? Sorry, this is today's. Could it be 40? Could be. On the other hand, it could also be 46, though. And I don't think it can be 48 because 48 bubbles start to hang around. So we're in that tricky zone, I think. We're in the tricky area of where it's 40, 43, 46, but you can't tell from shaking because the bubbles just disappear when they're in that low range. Mm. I think it's a freshly born and it's got different flavours of flowers, berries, stop and eating. Flowers and berries, I've got my own, thank you very much. Some kind of flower. Oh. Maybe marigold. So the, uh, marigold? You're not getting sherry as the first. Sherry and berries. I don't think you've said sherry yet. So it's not as strongly sherried as I thought from my memory from yesterday. More of a white wine, certain oh. type of... White wine or sauternes. No, I'm saying it's sherry. It's sherry, yes, but well, not it can't every, be, not every It can't be sherry. white wine, sauternes and be sherry at the same time, can it? It's sauternes a sherry. No. It's white wine. It's sauternes. The uh, that of orange. Skin. Yeah. Now, see... I was going to say, it could be almost like Highland Park, a bit orange skin mm. with that sherry. A little oaky, a little bit of chocolate powder, but I don't think there's ex bourbon in here. The flavour is uh, fresh, bright. Hmm. Okay, let's go for full glass. Oh, then a bit of char. Okay, more sherry now. Yeah, it's like a charred plum kind of thing going on. A little bit of bright fruit, white fruit, in there as well. I'm 
I'm just going to do a nose comparison, an early comparison. Oh, it's a free burning nine. Don't drink this. <laughs> it's just to compare the nose. Again, orangey. I get more sherry. Oh, more, more oaky. More sherry, I think, on this one. This is Bonnehaven 18. I think it's more sherry. Oh, timer. Three. That would be 340 on the timer. Let me put this down it before I mix it up. Shamari. Not every. So 340 on the timer works out about average viscosity, actually, at 107% compared to 40% vodka. Um, so right in the middle of average viscosity for whiskey. It's fine. I'm using I'm in Okay, I'm going to go for my normal half water start. Actually, is there anything peaty on this? Because I thought last week I got something smoky. It's a diamond ice. Nectarine. She said the word from diamond ice. Caramelized nectarines. I'm not getting anything smoky today. It's soft. I mean, I'm not getting peat. No, not really. No, we didn't get peat with Highland Park either. With the water. Again, uh, orange strand. More sherry with the water, funnily enough. More emini than the other stuffy citrus. Okay, have a taste. Yeah. Watery start, let's see. Citrus sets. Go with the orange. See, I get about three quarters of the way through. Just for a moment, it pops up like a char. Like, um, mm. almost like, I'm going to say hard bake, but don't let that it's not distract ashy. you. It's not ashy. I get this ashy char. And it just pops up, but then disappears. I don't think it's peat. Could it just be barrel char? Hang on, let me try again. Uh, from Ireland, not barrel smoke. Don't think so. But there's, wow, there is a kind of dusty darkness to it. Into darkness, yes, that's what I call this one. Let's see what we get on first drink. Touch of aniseed. Touch of aniseed. Cloves, very subtle. Cloves. And very, very fine. Specky pepper. Full strength. Of water, a little bit of water. But Full I strength. It's the only way I can get deeper to stop talking. It's very uh, summery, dark of sherry light. But very integrated. Mm. It's soft. The Go second on. half. This elegant. Have another taste. <laughs> There's something about it that it starts more on the honey side, but it it expands and gets like deeper and darker and more spicy. There's a lot of depth, but it really kind of un unravels. Okay, off you go. I'm sorry, the finish very oh finish. Mm. It's fine. Um, dark, dark finish, but not ashy. No, so, more of roasted, roasted. This is. This is a quality whiskey, though, isn't it? Very good quality. I noticed this yesterday that the more I tasted, the more I wanted to try. And, oh, oh, I and it got better and better with each taste. Uh, let me just combine them. It's just a tiny drop of water in there. Uh, I just want to try it again now. Mm. There's quite a soft roundness to this as well. There's no harsh edges. 
Very. It's almost slightly like it's a blended whiskey at the beginning, like a little bit of grain, but then all of this dark spiciness comes out in the second half. Very, uh, very shine. It's long. Blurry vanilla. Blurry vanilla. Very far away. Yeah. But the finish is really long, isn't it? I'm waiting so we can do a, a comparison. Right, here we go. Oh, subscribe. Yes. No, I'm... Um... Better or worse? Oh, and that's much more grassy and thin. It's very soft. It will be about 38. No, 46. Ooh, that I feel and I die very much. Better or worse? Well, it's different. I think it's more mainstream. Yeah, we know it's different, but is it better or worse? Let me try it again. This is why we run out of time all the time. I think I might prefer this. It's just more I got to see. I think it's very dry, soft. This one, but it's just a bit actually. I both. I picked this one. This one is Aaron eighteen, a new bottle. Mm. I think this tastes younger and harsher. <laughs> But it's also a bit more grassy. Okay, let me try another one. I'm not giving enough time to finish. Better or worse, don't say anything else. Let's see if we can get through it. There's only one minute left. Okay, that was Old Pulteney 21. It's my turn. Hmm. Okay, that's good. Not as sherried. Maybe plainer, a little bit plainer. It's bitter, okay. This one, you know, get any bitterness, you know. Hmm. I go for this one. Quite a bit sweeter, isn't it? More adjacent. But then more herbal at the finish. It's just that. very calm. That was Aaron 21. Uh, where are we now? Mm. Here. We're about to run out of time. Better or worse? It's very good, very good. Oh, this is you quite unique to all the other ones oh, that no. we've tried so it's far. Is, is, it's unusual. I think it's very safe. Whatever I give me at all, I think it is. So if it's about to be safe, that I go for this one. Just say the word better or worse. They're very close because this is quite unique. Craig Ellicky 23. I think slightly better. It's more integrated. It's better or worse? Now they're all starting to mix a bit now. I like that. That's very nice. But it would be 46. So it's asking me 43 if that is 46. The answer to Oh, I think it's better. I got for this. Oh, I got this again. Better or worse? Yeah, I'm not I'll tell you what that is in a second. I, I like it, but. Too blurry. So, is that? Well, what was that one? This is Highland Park 21. Was that like it? And then the last one I just gave you that you said was too blurry is Highland Park 25. Now, Highland Park 21 is that end of the shelf. Oh. And Highland Park 25 is here. Oh. And where is this one? It's gross, gross.
Mm. And now I think go softer after yeah. prefer that one. Which one? The new one. So you're saying it's not top shelf? Somewhere in here then? That's a pretty good score. I think I was saying it was better than Highland Park 21. So we're about here somewhere. Okay. It's very... Very quiet. I think it's all... They're all mixed together now. Because it's very uh, uh, finished, but I tried earlier on. So, this painting looks like it could have smoke in, doesn't it? But it's not. But there's just darkness about this. It could be barrel char, but the spiky darkness in amongst these plummy jam kinds of notes. So I think it's old sherry and it's got a bit of character. It's not a t just a total sherry bomb. It's possible that you're going to be second. We got this soft. It could be second fill old. Sherry. Right, let's have a look at the possibilities because we haven't checked out um, the list for a while. I don't think it's 48, but it no, no, possibly, no, no, no. there is a Macallan no. at 48. 43. So what possibilities do we have? You know, last week I thought this could be Beaumont if it was when I thought it was PT. Beaumont 18. Highland Park 18 mm. is still in there. Line burners, Macallan That's Sherry. Cool. Anok 24. The Bal Blair's probably got a bit of sherry in it. That Dalmore is ex bourbon, so probably not. Uh, still don't know about Loch Lomond. Don't think it's a Springbank. Bunner, it could be Bunner 25. Um, Highland Park Dark Origins, that would be a surprise. Could be Glendron at 21, it's or if it's 48. If it's 48. But I'm impressed that it, it doesn't have to die. No. Glendronach? No, because I have to move the fact, I think. Le Jig, not. Could it that be? Not actually enough. This is um, Le Jig, 18 year old. Oh, maybe. Sherry maybe. would finish. Oh, oh. No, we're not getting enough. Well, I was going to say, but we're not getting enough smoke. I thought it could be Macallan, but when I shook the bubbles, I thought, no, Macallan's bubbles no. are better than that. It could be Bal Blair. But it would have to be very heavily sherried, and I don't think this one is. No. Bunner. It could, it could be but Bunner. It's better to be that I wonder that I say it every day, very like somebody. Highland Park Dark Origins. But it's the ABV is 48. Yeah. But it's a... And then we got some 43s. Oh, carriage. Highland Park. Yeah, I think I got for this. So you think it's 43% then? Yes, it's, it's soft. You I think, think it's 46. Think do, yeah. Only it is. I think... Oh, hang on. Oh, it's fast. I don't know any about 46. this. 46. I said old. Okay, I think this is going to be too young. It's not green. I mean, it's quite dirty. The Beaumont should be more smoky. These are these are 46. Yeah, these are 43. The Bunner. Bunner. What's that? Bunner Haven 18 is much heavier sherry than what we're drinking today. Doesn't mean to say that it hasn't faded over time. Wow, we both emptied our glasses. Mm, there's a sweeter roundness to this. Are you choosing? Okay. I wonder, even the Macallan 18 probably has better bubbles. So, Peated, are you getting anything? 
of the Highland Parkiness compared to... So this is Highland Park 21. You said you like better. Is it similar? I think I'm more orange. I thought that I'm not bigger and much of orange. So I go for this, but very, very similar. Right. I am committing to a knock. Let's, can be, let's go to the chat and see what people are thinking. Uh, I'll work my way up. Still say it's the McAllen. Could be Michael. Balglen 99, Antal? Maybe. Lineburner or Bowmore? I'd be surprised. If it is the Bowmore, that would be funny because of the... Lineburner, it too, yeah. Yeah, we don't know anything about that line burners. Oh, this is why these two are so entertaining. Oh no, what have we done now? Just say better or worse. <laughs> yeah. Okay, maybe... Oh, Silverlock Whiskies. We don't have Glenlivet 18 in here. We don't have it. We do like it. Bonner 25 for me, Whiskey Vault. Because that would be good fun at the reveal. <laughs> well, but I have to get the finish. If I finish, that got to be old. Get out summer. I think there's there's almost none left. Just have some of that one. Hmm. Char. It's fun. I got quality. It's good flavors and very integrated. Fried alert. Be able to put other stuff. Have another drink. <sighs> that char moment hit me again, but it's not Highland Park, Pete. It's not the heathery Pete. It's very smooth at the first yeah. contact. You're not supposed to be smooth. I am, because that's what I'm trying to say. That's why it made me think it's almost like a blend, like old grain at the beginning, but then it bursts into this char spice. But we put other stuff. Well, yeah, I've already yeah. said, I preferred it more than the 21. I think I would be putting this in that section on the shelf for me. Final shelf position. We're not there. I mean, I prefer when you want to add it back. Do you prefer the Aaron 21? Oh, it's very good as well. That is not a great, it's a better service. Right. Are you... Are you ready? Ready for the reveal? A, is it age? I don't know why I've forgotten what comes it's first. Easy, but I think it's 43, 44. I'm... No, ABV is first. 40. Oh! 40, it's, hang on. It's 40. 40. 47, how can it be 47? It's 47 and it's a no age statement. What the hell's that line burners? I don't know now. It only cost ninety-eight dollars. It's an it's an island. It's gonna be dark. No, no. Dark Origins, maybe. It is Highland Park. Dark Origins. Get off Firebook. No. I'm surprised about I the think, ABV. No, you were you were half fireworks you were the one who had highland park but you also got either back i didn't right um we'll give we'll give deeper some fireworks for highland park i think i'm surprised about the abv is back in six by eight but after it at 43 but not in a bad way this isn't an old whiskey at all oh i old. It's a no age statement. This is probably less than 10 years old. I'm with that. Oh, 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 finish. Just goes to show you, we've learned nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time and we've learned nothing. Uh, 
Hang on. You know, we have tried this a long time ago. We had the mini. And may as well just pour it in. You preferred this over the Highland Park 21. Yes. No, 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 no. I, I prefer 21 more than this. Oh, yeah. I said I preferred it over the 21. They give me 21. So demanding. Now, consider that the 21 is about three times more expensive. And I'm giving you brand this. I'm just checking they're in different glasses. Okay, you give me blind? Okay. I'm not sure what we learn. Because the whole thing's been blind anyway. Wow, more punchy. Full. Sweet. Wow, they do taste very similar. More spiciness at the end. I prefer this. Mm -hmm. Oh. But I just realized I called it Into Darkness. Mm, wow. and, it, and it does have dark in the name. No, I don't know. <laughs> I think I deserve some fireworks. <laughs> But I think as is, they add more energy, more energy. Let's pick them apart again. 21 is. Uh, well, you, you did, did it's good. you did say orange and that is a, that more is orange. a classic Highland Park note, orange rind. Even more of orange rind and netherings, big netherings together. But I'm in breath with the ABV. Wow. I could see that it could be younger now, but it really holds up to me against that 21 year old. But it's only here. Yeah, maybe better with some old, uh, yeah, together. Could be. I mean, this Dark Origins, I think, was a favourite of a lot of people when it was available, and it hasn't been available for a long time. I we paid $98 for this. But back you can never get it again. Back in 2019. Um, now, at $100... I can you buy again today. What did I say before? I don't know. Why don't you know? I miss you. <laughs> it's not made anymore. Oh. It hasn't been made for three, or, three or four years. Um, but at $100, it is doing exceptionally well compared to anything here. I guess the Aaron would be similar. I better go to the chat. There's probably a lot of people shouting. But it's expensive. You can buy that again. 21. Yes, the 21 you can buy. Okay, Whiskey Vault. Seems you like it more and more. So Bunner would be worthy now. Oh, I see. Yes, yeah, so let me get... Uh, might be the Anok because of both fresh and dark character. Whiskey Vault, Faultsgraf, who said Dark Origins first? Lucas, I think Lucas might have it first. That was probably after the first, the like the ABV reveal. Oh, <laughs> so no one, no one got it. Yeah, that was a disaster in the chat. <laughs> let's all bomb together. There we go. Let's, let's do it. Well, kind of a surprise, Faultsgraf, yeah. They threw us off with the ABV. Yes, I'm, I'm really shocked. And I thought it was 43. No, but I said 46. Now, 46.8 isn't very far from 46. I said it wasn't 48. So I think that's fair. Uh, interesting, the name you gave it matches the name of the whiskey. Yes, thanks, we want freedom. There you go. Uh, there may be old whiskey in Dark Origin. The name is suggestive of that. It could be. Have a four ounce sample left of the Dark Origins. 
said to be 15 years old. Oh, wow. oh thanks, Tim. Did you get the sample from us? Because it would be from this exact bottle, if that was true. It is an NAS, Lucas is saying, but pretty expensive for that nowadays. True. And it was, this was a dusty bottle. I think originally this was about $75. And we picked it up um, as a dusty. I can remember where we bought it. I've forgotten the name of the shop though. But we bought it in a video a long time ago when I bought wine gums at the same time. You learn, you learn nothing, I guess. Yep, that's it, Whiskey Vault. Uh, does anyone else have Dark Origins? And do they rate it or do they not rate it? Uh, and how great tasting blind is. Yes. But we grow up eyes. We get more sensations. I have to say, I am a bit of a Highland Park fan. Oh, yes. I always have been. And yeah. I tend to rate it higher than deeper. But I have not recognised anything Highland Park recently. I got it from the very beginning. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you got it first. What are, does, do our notes have anything? Uh, plum jam, tobacco say, leaves. Spice, char. So that you get getting bumps, I kept getting orange and netherings. And I kept saying char, char, but it's not peat. But it is peat. Powerful flavours. Yeah, you wrote orange skin, orange skin. Very fine, lovely, spiky peppers. These five. Oh, uh, let's see. Postcard. These fireworks were. Implicitly also for we want freedom. So we want freedom. Did you get it first? Whoever got it first. Top shelf, bottom shelf, front row, back row. Give us some description of where you want us to grab a bottle from. Uh, oh, I see Tim. So you, you've heard people say it's 15 years old. Well, Tim has heard people on live streams from the distillery saying this is a 15 year old whiskey. So I feel better saying it was old, but I don't get any other flavor. That very fine, spiky pepper, but in a very nice way. I have to say, even though we're on a no buying spree, if I saw a dusty bottle of Dark Origins yes. for a hundred dollars or less, I would buy one. Uh, let's see, Dark Origins is still available for ninety on the Whiskey Exchange. Oh, <laughs> there you go, Ben. Thank go you very much. Me. The first half is surprisingly grain whiskey like. Anyone know what they say about Dark Origins? Is there oldish whiskey in there? What about the PR setup? Yeah, I wonder. I never said Dark Origins. False graph. Oh. <laughs> National Parks artist. Enjoy your whiskey. I have to back off for a bit as I'm 10 days out from trying a half marathon. Oh, Iron Man. That's a much bigger deal, a half Iron Man. Yes. No drinking, only yeah. alcohol-free beer if you need to. Again, all more me dumped it, more death. Yeah, it's close. Very close. Dark Origins is a good whiskey. I still have half a bottle whiskey scout. Very nice. Found mine as a dusty, Tim, um, for 85. Very good. Oh, I see. So your sample is what is yes, left. Yes, go for it. Open now. Pixie, come on, Mark. Get that thing open. And us. Have a little taste right now. Report back before the end I of the stream. Something. We'll wait. We'll wait till you've had a taste. At least for another nine minutes. Right. Uh, so maybe Lucas was first. I was after the ABV reveal. Why don't we have Deepa pick something? Okay, Deepa, you got Highland Park. I think you were the closest. But if you expected I didn't together. get Highland Park. Did I? No, I had a knock 24, like a numpty. The Whiskey Scout, I rate it 88, in the 88 range, give or take a point, depending on the day. There you go. There again, we don't know what you would rate Highland Park 21. <laughs> I just checked my notes with you, Whiskey with Molly. I got a lot of chocolate on the Highland Park Dark Origins. Yeah, I do get a spot. You said, um, chocolate powder. yeah, you said chocolate powder on the nose. Bottom middle. Sorry, we want freedom. Oh. We've, we, oh, I see. We were going for group pick too late. Deepa's got it. 
and none of you are going to complain. <laughs> Bottle. No, I'm so uh, happy Highland no, Park has finally come group, out. Group, group. I remember Melissa. Hi, Melissa, if you watch it on the replay. Bourbon Melissa had bought Highland Park, Dark Origin, a couple of years ago and just didn't get on with it. And I just wonder if you ever got to like it, Melissa. And if you still don't like it, and you still have it. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, uh, no. We'll buy it back. Uh, right. Um, Why? Because she won't, she won't give no more about beef. Well, no, she's a bourbon person, but the flavours were just too weird. Compared to bourbon, bourbon, this is a long way off, isn't it? Okay. Jimmy Jazz. You're free from the shackles of work. Time to pour something, I guess. Yes, congratulations, Jimmy, on not working. <laughs> Lucas, sure, give yourselves some more fireworks for the nice pick. <laughs> Hixie, can't try it now. It's 6.30 in the morning. I need to start work soon. You know, just a little sip like that. <laughs> Fair enough, right, Mark? Report back later. Oh, you gonna try again? Or about we get it a sip? Tiny sip. Bottle number. Uh, two hundred and fifty-two. Wow, we're really getting up there. Here we go. Could be a bourbon for Melissa. No. Those are some pretty big bubbles, <laughs> though. Faster. Pretty big bubbles. Everyone ready for Deepa's expression? Off you go. But, ah, uh, damn, we saw expression. Well, sometimes the expression is, you know, the, the taste after is interesting because, you know, we've been blind tasting and comparing to other sherried whiskies. And then you hit the new one and it's a complete contrast sometimes. Ooh, that's a pretty good face. But the finish is, I'm, I'm not seeing any demo. Deepa doesn't like vanilla that much. Mm. The finish is very fast, short. That reminds me of that Glenn Lossie, the 19 year. Okay. But it's not bad, it's pretty good. Let me set, set that here. But I'm a stubby ass. We have Maybe quite a lot. And a bit in the in the timer. Uh in the viscometer. Where are we putting this in the end? Mm, Maybe. What about we want uh a and the... We want freedom. Spirit of freedom. Get a right hand. Did you prefer the Craig Elliki? No. But get a right twenty three. The Craig Elliki? Back to tasting then, I guess. Putting it up against another $300 bottle, really. Today is better. Oh, it's okay. too thin, it's too buttery today. It's yeah. Let's say we're gonna put it in there. Who would have thought? A hundred dollar bottle nudges out Craig Ellick. Oh, I don't know. That Craig Ellicky 23 finish is pretty good now. Mm, I'm mean, uh, both. I both that. I both that. No. Label creep. Um, right. Where are we? No bourbon? No. Could it be Kilcarran? Mm, not sure, Lucas. It's going to still have to wait for that one. Going to have to wait. Could it be a Highland Park? Is it something peated and we just don't notice? Such an iconic bottle. Shame they changed it. Apu. Oh, you mean the, the Dark Origins? Uh, you will be right one day, Lucas. <laughs> Deepest eyes don't hide anything. Yeah, never make her angry. It's scary. Whiskey Vault. Ha, ah, true. Eventually, Lucas. Yeah, exactly. Whiskey and wine tales. She looks intrigued. Sunday may yield 
a different expression. Yes. The top 10 is now about the great names. Ah, it is Gherkin. Oh, hang on. Sunday, I've just remembered. Let me, uh, little auction update. Why not? So, you know, we put our Springbank bottles into the auction. Shame on us. We put them in, one because we didn't like some of them for the value, and others because we were going to Springbank and we wanted to take money <laughs> from the Springbank bottles and pay it in into Springbank. And we didn't want to bring all of those bottles back in the luggage. Weak excuses. Here we go. A little auction update. Now it's only Thursday. Um, we have 11 bottles in. One of them is for a friend. So in reverse order. Now, most of the bidding happens on Saturday night, Sunday morning, to be honest. So we're only at £45 and £55 for a local barley. We are £85 and 130 for a Springbank 21, which surely is going to go higher, isn't it? Um, okay, a couple more local barleys are now jumping up. 150, 160. 210, that's the one for the friend. 380. So actually this 380 and the and the uh, 130 are the same bottles. What else is in there? We have a single cask. Ooh, actually now at four. Hang on, 500, that's new. So the stupid local barley that no one should that ever off? buy because it's rubbish, <laughs> relatively speaking, is now at 500. Ah, oh, hang on. What did we get? Subscribe, the big guy. I think that's what it said. Thank you very much for subscribing. And wow. Okay, we're up to 800 on a rum cask. And I bought it and then read the reviews and thought it's not that good. And we haven't liked the other 21s nearly that as much as they should cost. So at least if we add all the numbers together, we're right about break even at the moment. So we'll somebody remind us on Sunday to come back and load up the page and we'll see where we end up. Because when we go live at one, that's more or less when the auction is wrapping up. Okay, back to the chat. Did we miss anything? Ah, uh, Dustin's in. I'll take those Springbank 21s at 210. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now it's rubbish. Absolutely. Yeah. No, no, it's rubbish. <laughs> oh, Whiskey Scout. You're pouring the Dark Origin. Very good. Will it be enough for another round trip to Campbelltown? I have to say, if anyone... Did I mention that the car, the rental car that we got got smashed while it was parked overnight in London. The uh, rental company just charged $5,000 uh, pounds, sorry, so 6,200. I'm still trying to sort that out. I'm getting no response from the insurance company, the rental company. Bank of America is disputing the charge because the rental company hasn't sent us a breakdown of what we paid. So I'd be very sad to think we traded Springbank local barley to pay for a rental car smash that happened while we were asleep. But you know, life sometimes does that, doesn't it? <laughs> right. Falsgraf, very nice. Interesting and entertaining show tonight. Thank you very much, Falsgraf. We will see you over at Roy. Roy is on. Thanks everyone for watching. See you over there. Bye for now.